Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing fine at your end. So this Sunday we went to Jufen Old Street and let me tell you it's a charming mountain town in Ruifang district of Taiwan. Now to know how to reach Jufen Old Street please check the description box below. Jufen Old Street is usually crowded with people especially on weekends who wish to spend some quality time in the lap of nature amidst Taiwanese culture. Chufin has an array of shops selling a huge variety of Taiwanese cuisines, souvenirs, delicious snacks and much more. So we first halted at the shop to taste deep fried shrimp balls. The smell was so good that we were literally drooling. So we decided to stop and taste the snack. Trust me, it was very delicious. Then we went to taste some stinky tofu. Chufen has some really good tea stores where you can taste a wide variety of tea and buy accordingly. Now this shop sells really good fruit cakes and candies.
the street has a wide variety of shops to amuse you. This shop has such a good variety of souvenirs. Not only this, there are many such shops having a wide variety of souvenirs and decorative pieces to choose from. This shop sells peanut ice cream roll. Peanut sharing spread over popia skin topped with two scoops of ice cream. Well, this was one of the oddest thing we ate in Taiwan. But it actually tastes really good. I bought some fried mushrooms from here and trust me it was really delicious. This shop sells glutinous rice cakes which are made with a variety of fillings like salted vegetables, preserved turnip, sweet red bean and much more. And each piece of glutinous rice cake costs you around $10.80. From here, we headed downstairs towards a twisty labyrinthine alley noted for its hanging red lanterns that looks even more beautiful at night.
Chufen is pretty well known for its foggy weather condition which creates a soothing and relaxing atmosphere. It provides an exquisite view of the sleepy mountainside town and Keelung Harbour. After exploring the streets of Chufin, we had this amazing lunch at a nearby restaurant. There are plenty of such restaurants to choose from. The town is filled with retro Chinese and Japanese style cafes. We went inside one of such cafes to enjoy this amazing view of nature with a cup of coffee and a glass of passion fruit green tea. This was a fantastic trip and with this, I come to an end of this vlog. Hope you all liked it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such travel vlogs. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.